Hi, my name is Tom. I'm a glazer at Walters & Wolf. I'm going to demonstrate to you how to properly install a silicone boot. This boot's made out of silicone and we're going to use it to span the gap between two window frames. I have a mock-up here. These, this represents two units uh, that have come together with a quarter inch gap in between. It's this quarter inch gap that we are going to address and we're going to do that with the silicone boot. Before we do apply the silicone boot, we need to properly clean the boot and the substrate. We're going to use alcohol. So we'll spray some alcohol on here, get it on the top of our unit. And then we are going to use what they call the two white method or two towel method. And that is we're going to take one in one direction. We're going to swipe it clean. And then we consider that towel dirty. We'll take another clean towel and do another swipe over the top of it, making sure it's clean, free from debris, free from grease. Perfect. Now we're going to grab another clean towel. Go ahead and do this to our unit, swiping again in one direction. We do this so we don't trace back any dirt or debris back into the joint we just cleaned. Finish it off with our second dry towel. Good, so we're clean. We have about a quarter inch gap in between these two units. This quarter inch gap is what we're, is the problem we're trying to solve. Every This what you see in the middle is the chicken head. Everything on this side of the chicken head is considered a wet zone. So we're gonna use this silicone boot to span this joint right here in the wet zone. Uh, this The boot is, because it is a silicone boot, it is made out of silicone. So uh, I will demonstrate how to properly install the silicone to the silicone boot. Um, because it is silicone, any silicone on top of the boot will not do us any good. So when I demonstrate this, pay attention to where the silicone is placed because the silicone between the bottom of the boot and the top of the unit is what actually gives us the adhesiveness we need. Clean. Once you're clean, we're going to start to apply the silicone. You want to have a plan before you start to apply the silicone. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically outline the box of this boot by coming up underneath here, down the side, across the front, and back up the side. In addition to that, we're going to run a bead of caulking right over the top of our male leg in between this joint. So I'm using Dow 791 Black. When I'm applying the caulking, I want about 5 16 bead going over the top. If we have too much caulking, it makes a, makes a mess or it keeps the boot too high, which will interfere with the next unit that needs to slip over the top of this. Too little and it's not going to adhere and shear over time. Coming across the top of this chicken head, just like that. So now you can see I've outlined the boot going all the way across, across the top. Now I'm going to run a line of silicone right over the male leg, just like that. Okay, time to install the boot. So the boot, we're going we're gonna to press right into the caulking, get it started. As you can see, I've got all the caulking underneath the boot. I'm going to use a tool to make sure I've got adhesion, pressing it down. I don't want to press out all the material, but I want to keep it flat enough to where the unit's going to fit over the top. Pressing into the corner, making sure I have sealant all the way around. We use a clear boot just for this purpose. We can, you can actually see the black silicone through the boot, which makes it real nice. Got my line across here. So now, now we've pressed the silicone, now we've seated the boot in, into the bed of silicone. And I'm going to make sure this area right here underneath the bulb gasket is tucked in nice. That can easily get forgotten.
Hi, my name's Tom. I'm a glazer at Walters & Wolf. I'm going to demonstrate how to properly install a 3 quarter by 3 quarter inch foam tape in a four-way intersection. So what I have here is I have the top of our unit, or what you could also say is the sill runner. And then two units are going to go come together and go on top of this, creating a four-way intersection. We're going to help this four-way intersection out between the gap that we get at the vertical we're going to span that with this 3 quarter by 3 quarter inch foam tape. This foam tape has adhesive on one side and then on the other side uh, you see this paper. This is not, this is just a clean side without any, uh, uh, it's just one side of tape has no adhesive on this side. So we're going to, and first thing we're going to do is we're going to install this, this foam tape inside the cavity here where the chicken head's going to fall into. What I'm doing now is I'm stretching the 3 quarter inch, 3 quarter inch tape just to help it sit inside the cavity, leaving the rest of it going free up here. At this point, I'm going to uh, apply the Molly Coat 111 to the to the non uh, the non sticky side of this tape. So I'm going to apply it right here. This is 111 Molly Coat by Dow. It uh, basically applies just like butter. And we're just going to be generous on this surface of the tape. Coming all the way across. Perfect. Okay, now our three quarter, three quarter inch tape is ready to go. Uh, before we set the units on top of our chicken head, we're going to address this bulb gasket. As you can see, there's two pieces here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one short on the left hand side and I'm going to take this side and marry it up to it. And we're going to use some of this 111 again right here at the joint. This will allow, this will give us a seal between the two bolt gaskets but also allow the unit to come over the top of this without creating any kind of straws. So there we go. Good to go. So I'm going to take this unit and we're going to set it right on top of our chicken head. Okay, that's on there. This next unit, as you can see, the 3 quarter by 3 quarter inch tape is long enough to span the gap of the mullion and adhere to the underside of this unit. So we're going to take this unit and it's going to come in high come together and then drop down over the top just like that. 